Hello my lords and welcome to the Beyond Sana channel, my name is Shanks and today is the day in which Rohan is gonna take his revenge because a couple of days ago on this channel we were playing the Isengard faction against Seven Heart Rohans and Theodine was kinda upset about this one. So that's the reason why we have to now play Rohan against Seven Heart Isengards. We're gonna get our heroes on the field, we're gonna get Rohirrim, we're gonna get Rohirrim Arches and we're gonna try our best to win this game. Let's get it started. Spongebob, what are you doing there? Alright, alright, alright. It's gonna be a tough one, because Rohan's defense is not as great as from Gondor faction. So we have to get some units on the field early on, unlike with Gondor. Gondor is kinda easier in my opinion. So we're gonna start with two farms into the Hobbit's Merry Gas. Uh, the cousin from Pippin, who is the Hobbit from the Gondor faction. And I don't wanna go for drafts, because I don't think we need some peasants er, you know, first. I don't wanna waste my 80 command points into, uh, into recruiting some of the weakest units in the game. They are the weakest units in the game after the orcs from the Moro faction, so I don't like them that much. Okay, the Hobbit is gonna be used to get those two settlements under our control. Uh, the farms outside, they're gonna always start with rank 2, unlike the farms inside, that means they're gonna also give us more money, which is very, very nice. And I think we need some uh, heroes like Theodin and Eomia, and we also need some Rohirrim. Uh, very important is gonna be to get actually the levels on the heroes, on the mounted heroes from Rohan, Eomia, and Theodin, because once they hit level 4, it's a quite nice power spike for the Rohan. Uh, ally Rohan units, in this case Rohirrim or Rohirrim Archers. Especially the Glorious Charge from Theodin is actually very effective. Okay, so we're gonna use the Hobbit to creep this Goblin at the bottom right side. That's gonna give us some nice money, which is not bad. In the meantime, we're gonna make some more farms. I think we need to make like full farms beside this spot we can, you know, save for the stable. Recruit Eome and Theodin first, and then go for some Rohirrim. And once we have some, you know, space, and once we are able to fight for the map control, we can also try to recruit Legolas, Aragorn, and Gimli. But I think first of all, we will need some, uh, we will need some, say it, units on the field, guys. Uh, those farms are gonna be attacked very, very soon from the Isengard players. Trust me on that one. I think I'm gonna save this spot for a well, so we have some sustain later on with the heroes and also the units. And now we can start saving for. Uh, first, um, actually, let's build the stable first. Because heroes like Theodin and Eomir, they are not very strong in this situation. They need some support from the Rohirrim. they are actually effective. And we can, you know, get some experience now already on the Rohirrim. And the heroes can join them later on. Should be fine. Again, we were starting with the heal, no draft. And I think draft is, you know, overrated. Especially in a 1 versus 7 situation, the, the, you know, the Rohan. Uh, peasants, they're gonna die quite fast. And there are the Urukai already, guys, in Crossbow Man. He's gonna get them all on the field. For that reason, we have to close the gate. And I make one Rohirrim and also pass Postan gates here. This way, you, our units are able to get out and in, but the enemy units are not able to enter the base. Okay, and um, the creep secured, which is nice. So we can now invest the money into the Theodian. We can also use the Hobbit to get cloaked around this side. This way, uh, our opponent won't be able to get this farm under his control. Okay, Theodin is gonna offer us leadership with level 1, 50% increased damage and armor for the allied Rohirrim. In this case, our Rohirrim are gonna hit like a truck, but there are just too many units to deal with. I think that's gonna be risky anyway. After the first Rohirrim, we can also try to save for Eomia, for the Horse Lord of Rohan. We need to get Eomia level 4. I'm actually scared guys, there are actually too many units around, we're gonna go for a small trample and go back immediately after inside the base and heal up. Alright, Theodin is already level 2, look how much damage we are taking, that's crazy, we need to be extremely careful. Because when there are too many units like you can, you know, as you can see, uh, the thing is, the, our units are gonna get slowed down and the enemy units will have the time they need to take them down afterwards. Right, Eomia is on his way now. He can heal up a little bit and do that over and over again until Theodin hits level 4 and unlocks the Glorious Charge. Let's, let's go, you know, with the Rohirrim out first. Go for a trample on this Urukai. There we go. Level 3 and a half almost. Now go for another trample and go back inside the base once again. He was also using War Chant. But our second Rohir. Oh, 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 Theodin. What are you doing, Theodin? Oh, this guy is going out all alone. War Chant's all around the place, though. <laughs> But luckily our Theodin is almost level 4, that's gonna be a huge power spike. That's not gonna make our Rohirrim almost unkillable and invincible. But also our units are not gonna get slowed down as they are gonna trample, which is very very important. 
now we can try to get some level 4. There are not too many units around this side, so we can focus on this side. Kill the crossbow man first. Okay, there we go, guys. For death and glory. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. We can also use Elven Wood to get even more resistant. There we go. Beautiful. Look at this. Nice. Ooh, level 5 Aomi already. Just like that. Uh, we lost one after Rohirrim, I believe, right? Yeah, I think we lost one after Rohirrim, but that's, that's fine. That's fine. We have now a level 10 unit already. <laughs> can you imagine that one? That's crazy, right? We can also now, we have to go also for the upgrades for the armory. Definitely. Now we can just wait for the cooldown of the Glorious Charge. Our Rohirrim are hitting like a track, and because of the Hobbit, as you can see, the opponent is not able to capture this mill. Okay, we're going for the armory now, and we're also gonna capture this or purchase this horseman shield from the stable level 2. It's gonna hit level 2 once the Rohirrim are on the field. Uh, the unfortunate part is that we lost one of them, but I think it's fine. We have a good amount of resources because of Eomea and his outlaw leadership, which means we get money every time when we kill enemy units. And trust me when I say that, in this game we're gonna kill thousands of units, guys. Glorious Charge is still on cooldown, but we can use our King's Favor on the level 1 Rohirrim. And that's gonna make them level 2. Alright, uh, Heavy Armor first. Into the Forge Blade second. Alright, let's go for another Trample, we can kill some more units. Luckily, he has no pikemen on the field so far. Uh, and no pikemen means we can actually keep demolishing them all the time. A glorious charge. There we go. For death and glory one more time. And trample them. Oh, but they are, why, why they are getting slowed down like this? I'm not sure. That actually shouldn't be the case. But we took so much damage, guys. We have to be careful. Alright, horseman shields purchased. Just wait uh, until we get it. That's going to increase our durability and tankiness against arrows. That means also against crossbow men from the Isengard faction. And also against uh, towers later on when we have to kill the bases. And also heavy armor is going to make us more tanky. Uh, what we need to do now, I would group the Rohirrim with 1, with control 1. And then we can also group the heroes with control 2. Because what we want now to happen is our Rohirrim, they need to be the tank units, you know. They need to tank all the damage. And our heroes, they're going to be just used mainly for sportive purposes. That's why we have to always be, be careful. But there are just too many units now to deal with, you know. As you can see, our Rohirrim are getting slowed down big time. Um, we also have to purchase this one and we can demolish the armory right after. You don't have to keep the armory on the field in order to keep the upgrades active. But once you have all the upgrades purchased, you can also demolish your armory, guys. Okay, 7 power points. We can now go for the ends. Ends are nice. Uh, against Isengard, it's like movie-like. You know, the tree beard and his ends against the Isengard army. Okay, Glorious Shard should be back up, right? There we go. Beautiful. And now we have also Forge Blades on this unit. So for death and glory, one more time, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, use it. Theodine, and let's go inside the gene, shall we? Bam, 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 bam. Oh, that's so nice. We need to kill these ballistas, though. We need to kill these ballistas. We can. Look how many. What is. Black, well, black magic all around the place. We have Saruman's we have to kill now. One of the Rohirrims has to be careful. Our heroes, Lords, is taking care of Eomia. We have to heal him. Oh, we have to be careful now. We lost one of the Rohirrim already. Level 10, please save him if you can. Looks like we will be able to save him for now. We need to now summon the ends on top of the enemy units. It, it getting, it's getting insane as you can see, guys. Uh, we have all the upgrades purchased. We can demolish now this one, make one more Rohirrim, and we also have to go for the archer range because we will have to get some Rohirrim archers on the field. Trust me on that one, guys. Kill this. Get kicked away, oh, you guys. Get kicked away. Now, Lord's next. <laughs> These ants are killing everybody, but they are also receiving so much damage from the fire upgraded units. Uh, but luckily, we were able to kill Ballistas. That's gonna give us some time, which is very, very important because we are under attack, as you can see, 24-7. So, um, I think we need to go for this one, yeah. I need, we need Cloudbreak later on. Cloudbreak is gonna stun the enemy units. It's gonna also reduce their armor. Uh, with that being said, we will be able to one-shot them. Okay, Glorious Judge is almost back up. Uh, we can also make some towers, I guess, but, you know, we don't have that much money right now, guys. We have no farms outside. And we have only four farms inside because of the RGA range, stable and the well. Our resources are not looking that great. And the siege has started once again. There is still one Saruman, if I'm not mistaken. I see two Lurtzes. One of them is moonwalking around the gate. <laughs> and the other one is just there. 
Luckily, he's not crippling our heroes. Uh, we're gonna just sacrifice those uh, Yeoman Archers because we have not that many command points available. The main reason for the Archer range is gonna be the Fire Upgrade. We need later on for the Rohirrim. Uh, three Saruman's, guys. Holy guacamole. Alright, Glorious Judge, use it. Now we're gonna try to kill the Saruman's, alright? Uh, and he has three of them, so I don't know. It's, it's gonna be a tough one, I guess. Uh, five power points. Elvin Wood is still available. Can we use another one here? No, we can't. Yeah, we are trying to kill the heroes, by the way. One of them is down. Kill this Palista, maybe? Kill this Palista as well. There we go. This Palista is down. Seven power points collected. <gasps> he has also Pikeman now on the field. Oh no. Luckily, our heroes were able to survive, but that's gonna be tough. He broke the gate, guys. He broke the gate. SOS, SOS. Yes, pikemen and stuff like this also inside the base. That's really horrible for us. We have to use heal. We have to melee fight against the pikemen. Our heroes are getting shoots by the ballista. Saruman's are inside the jeans as well. This is the hardest one so far, guys. This is the hardest one so far. Can we make it happen? Because you could see yourself, the other games were always so easy. We have to get some more towers definitely for defense. Our heroes, they are the most important ones, they need to survive, explosive mine, breaking everything. More towers are needed, our base is wide open, just like Helm's Deep in the movies. Berserkers are diving in against the fortress, against the Tita. They might be able to take it down, we need to kill them. Look at this base, it's open and the base was saved at least for now. Kill this before they can finish off the fortress, very very important. Uh, we have level 2 now, but we have to also invest at some point of the game the money into rebuilding this. This is intense. And we were not even able to see one of the bases just yet. Okay, that's definitely the, the hardest one so far. And more explosive mines are coming, we have to kill them now, very very important. Uh, we have no heroes on the field besides Aomi and Theodian and Mary of course. But we are in a horrible situation right now and I say that, believe me on that one guys. Luckily we have one level... You know, Tenro hit him and our heroes are also quite highly leveled. We can't afford to lose them at this point, trust me guys. We have to get some more money. Only one more power point needed for the army of the dead, which we need to use to beat one of the opponents. He's sending berserkers all the time. Trample them down like this, beautiful. One more power point needed now. We have to, you know, make this farm again. We can now demolish this and go for some Rohirrim arches instead. He needs one more farm definitely, but luckily we get so much money for e from Eomer, you can see that, right? Plus 15, plus 7, depends on what we're killing. And our Rohirrim are hitting like a truck with the full upgrades. There is another mine we have to try to kill with the Rohirrim before it actually bombs everything left from the base. Alright, kill the mine, please. Very, very important. We were able to kill it, now we can also clean this area with the Rohirrim and kill this last mine around this side as well. Now we have the AOD unlocked from the spell book, which is going to be necessary. Either defensively or offensively, we have to use it at some point. We have now one Rohirrim Archer on the field, we're going to give them the number 3. And look, these guys keep sending units all the time, and Saruman is back in the business as well. Our Rohirrim Archers are going to be a nice counter. Uh, oh, 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 be careful. They are trying to kill uh, Saruman. I'm going to try to give them the kill to the Rohirrim Archers at least. This way they can level up, and the more levels they have, the stronger they're gonna become. Fireball is gonna be used, but I just don't wanna kill with anything else but our Rohirrim Arches, guys. He's trying to run for his life, and he's dead now. We can now attack this mine, it's gonna explode immediately before it can reach our base. Oh, 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 alright, alright. Don't attack now with this Rohirrim Arches, very, very important. We have to kill this mine. Okay. So, don't kill this mine with the fire upgrade, trust me, it's gonna explode everything. We have now two Rohirrim Arches, one Rohirrim, we can heal up a little bit over time and actually go for the attack first. And we also have to definitely repair our wall. But before that, I would just like to make some more towers. We can, we don't, there is no need of this um, Ostan Gate anymore because we have an open base, right? <laughs> okay. I mean, we are not allowed to waste any more time, guys. When I Trust me when I say that. We need to attack now, okay? One more Rohirrim to go. Oh, look this, look this. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. We have to get upgrades on the units. We are poor, guys. We have no money. Keep that in mind. We need to retreat a little bit to heal up with the Rohirrim Arches at least. Okay, there we go. Nice, heal up. 
Our towers, they should be doing nice against this unit so far, I'm assuming. Hopefully, they're gonna be enough to defend against them. Our Rohirrim arches. We need to kill this Ballista. He's gonna destroy us. Alright, look at this Ballista in the backside as well. Ballistas all around the place. The siege weapons, I hate them. Oh, 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 alright, alright. Saruman is also on the fields now. Look how many Ballistas this guy is spamming. That's crazy. Our heroes are gonna be around this side to kill the um, to support the Rohirrim Arches with leadership. This way they can burst down these heroes in a second, as you can see. We have to kill these Ballistas as soon as we possibly can. Okay, they are killed now. And I think we shouldn't be wasting much more time and go immediately to the base at the bottom right side, okay? We are almost command points kept. We can also start rebuilding now if we can afford it. Okay. Alright, kill this if you can. Nice, we were able to explode them. Now in those kind of situations we need to send the normal Rohirrim in first because they are much much tankier. But before we do that we can also group and use Glorious Charge and Cloud Break at the same time. Now is the time for us to shine. Very important, we need to kill this Ballista as they're gonna destroy our units. Uh, kill this Ballista, please. Right. Luckily, our Rohirrim matches are hitting like a truck now that, you know, now that they have some levels on them. One of the Rohirrims uh, is quite slow. We have to send him back. Level 10 one. Hopefully, we will be able to save him. I'm gonna just use heal. I don't wanna risk the biscuit. I think this attack won't be enough to save the day. But we will at least be able to deal some damage. We can also kill this... Uh, guy, or here we are able to survive. All right, kill this pikeman. Against pikeman, you just need to make sure that you don't trample them down. You know that's very important. All right, our units are here. That's good. Oh, 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 oh. kill this, kill this, please, please, please. Nice. With the mind, we were able to kill his own siege works, which is quite dope. Fireball was used from Saruman, but our heroes, our horses, they should be able to one shot some pretty much. Right, level 10 unlocked. Just keep killing units. Again, Eomi is giving us money every time we do that. That's why we have so much money now all of a sudden. That means Aragorn can be recruited on the field. For that, we need the Anduril Sword. Just heal up. Try to not lose too many units. Very important. Kill this mine. Kill this mine, please. Nice. Nice one. With the mine, we were also able to kill the units around. Which is quite nice. Okay, Aragorn is going to also give us leadership, guys. Uh, I think we can repair now this part, right? Aragorn can also. We can now press U key on our keyboard and make Aragorn follow automatically one of our Rohil marches. Right, and let's keep moving, right? Let's keep moving. Keep up the pressure. I'm gonna try to finish off this base without... Oh, this guy is just walking over the... What? Interesting. Alright, let's go like this. But we have towers, so I'm not afraid too much. We also have to uh, repair the gates though. Alright, so let's keep moving. We have Glorious Charge ready. Which we can now use for death and glory as Theodem would like to say. And go inside the jeans. Kill this, kill this uh, dude there with the Rohirrim Arches. Darumon, look how fast he's going down in a second. We have to kill now literally the... But we have to avoid the pikemen. We have to kill Lourdes. Aragorn. Alright, Lourdes is dead. Kill the armory if we can. Kill this ballista with the Rohirrim archers if we can. Kill this still on cooldown, so we have to be careful. We can kill this berserkers with the Rohirrim. Get closer with the heroes to support the Rohirrim archers all the time with leadership. Kill is gonna be almost back up. Dark uh, rain has been used. That's gonna negate all our leaderships, guys. I'm gonna use heal and also AOD now. I hate to use it, because, but we have to use it. That's the problem right now. Uh, Alright, so let's go inside, kill this citadel if he can, our ants can be summoned as well, we have to now fully commit in order to destroy at least one of our opponents, you know? Alright, oh, Saruman is there using fireball, but ants can revenge on him, let's try to go inside the jeans now, and our heroes, they need to be staying close to the Rohirrim archers, right? Uh, Alright, kill this, kill this Balista, I can't click on the Saruman for some reason. We need to just make sure that AOD is still tanking as much as long as they as it can. So our units, they don't they are not forced to you know tank the damage. At least for now. Okay. Uh Saruman is running from for his life. But the goal was to kill the baristas and we were able to do that. Uh, that's the hardest one. I think that's def not I think. I'm one hundred percent sure that this is the hardest one. All the other games uh, we played so far, the one versus seven, were like a were like a joke. Compared to this one, guys, trust me. 
but we will be able to finally able to destroy one of our opponent bases. Still six to go. Avoid the pikemen. Don't feed. One time with the highly leveled Rohirrim, Rohirrim and Rohirrim Arches. And we have finally also enough money to buy the space, which is quite nice. He's sending some mines, but there is nothing to make them bomb, so he should be fine. And just go back to this base and heal up a little bit. We are also now able to make some more units. I'm gonna make one more Rohirrim Arch, actually, guys. I'm gonna close the gate instantly. And I can also buy this farm, just why not. Alright. Okay, beautiful. Uh, we have to kill this. Our heroes are not moving for some reason. Aragorn has to move as well. Just make some more farms here uh, to get some more money. Money is always nice. You can't have enough money at any point of the game, I'm assuming. That's why we have to also buy this farm here. And also destroy this one later on, right? So buy this farm. Heal up over time again. So we are full health. And the next target is going to be this one. But I think this, you know, this Isengard play at the bottom right side can also go for the siege very soon. But we shall see. Okay. I think we got one more Rohirrim March on the field, right? Yeah. There is one more. And the group of this Rohirrim March is, is number three. So control three to group them under one banner. As uh, Aragorn would like to say. More mines are coming. I'm scared. Hopefully they won't achieve too much. And we shouldn't waste any more time. But keep moving immediately to this Isengard play at the top side. Or in the middle left side. Okay. Um, this is still broken or again broken. Alright, alright. Just make one more farm here. Alright, so we have now enough leadership. Leadership is back. <laughs> no, BFME, back is, BFME is back on the menu, boys. Uh, kill the pikemen with the Rohirrim archers. Avoid fighting them with the normal Rohirrim because they are getting hard countered. You can also use uh, the cloud break. Now what we need to do is, you know, focus the citadel with the Rohirrim archers. So he can't keep building anymore. Uh, kill the buildings. Aragorn can just kill this unit. It's no big deal. Look at the damage these units are able to deal to the buildings. You see that? These Rohirrim marches are, are hitting like a truck, literally. Aragorn can also be sent forward. We need to kill these Baristas as soon as we possibly can. Look how much damage they are able to deal to our units. That's why I think we are forced now to send one of the units back. Losing units we can't afford right now. Uh, Glorious Charge can be used if needed. Kill this. Where is Aragorn going? Aragorn, you need to be here, my friend. Kill, kill. One more Ballista to go. Kill this last Ballista before it destroys us. And our level 10 Roh Rohirrim died, unfortunately. And Theodin and Eomir died as well. Holy guacamole. I think we attacked accidentally a mine which killed everything, everything from us. Beside Aragorn. We lost everything, guys. Literally. Can you imagine that? We hit a mine, unfortunately. We're gonna use Bleedmaster here to make Aragorn very, very strong. I'm gonna try to finish off the base. We hit a mine, you know. That's why we lost Eomir, Theoden and everyone. So we have, and look, you know, Eomir and Theoden are no problem because we have money now, we can revive them. But the real problem is definitely our highly leveled horses. You can't replace them. Alright, one more tower to go. Can we finish it? I don't want to use heal BF Atenas, which is a heal from Aragorn himself. You can also use uh, Elendil to make them run away from us. Elendil just... You know, look at this Lumber Mill worker, Moonwalking moon against Aragorn. <laughs> Aragorn is not dealing that much damage though. I'm not surprised about this. Uh, he will be able to take it down, so we can now try to finish off this sitter once again. Alright, let's make some more Rohirrim marches, definitely. Alright, this sitter is the last building remaining. But I'm happy. Even though it kind of went really bad uh, because we, we lost almost everything besides our uh, Aragorn. Uh, but still, we were able to finish off the base at the end of the day, which is the most important thing. So we can now buy it and close the gate immediately. And send Aragorn back to the well so he can join the main army. But before that, we have to close the gate. It's something you should never forget because if you don't do that, it's gonna gate rush you. And you will be surprised about how fast your buildings can actually die. Okay, Eomir and Theodem back in the business. Um, Alright, so get them mounted on the horses. Beautiful. We hear the marches. We are down on money as you can see yourself. Once they are level 2, we can also use uh, the King's Favor to level them up a little bit more. Uh, Alright, so we have the one level 10 horse we were able to save before. That's something. That's not bad. So we can give the heroes the le level two, uh, number 2 and the Rohirrim March is number 3. We can also just, you know, start buying some farms inside the space. 
And now I think the next target has to be this Isengard at the bottom right side. I think that's the way to go. Are there any mines? Yeah, there are so many mines, you can make them bomb, but he's not doing it. <laughs> he's not doing it just yet. Kill this please first. Alright, so let's keep moving now. To the bottom right side. We have now enough money to actually buy some more farms here. Beautiful. And we have ants available now for the next attack. As well as AOD, the army of the dead. And Elven allies, Elven woods, heal, draft, everything beside the cloud break is everything available. Uh, let's see if we will need to use them or if we can try to finish off this base without the use of the EOD at least. I don't mind using ants, but I don't want to use EOD now. If we don't have to. The glorious charge can be used. Let's do it. Use glorious charge, please, Theodin. Can you do it? There we go, for death and glory. Uh, there, he has so many baristas, man. That's so unfortunate, dude. I'm gonna use AOD actually, guys. I don't want to deal and I don't want to lose my units for the balist to the baristas for no reason. Spamming, like... A lot of normal units. Uh, I mean, a lot of siege weapons all the time is kind of lame from this player. But it is how it is. Just focus on the buildings if you can. Always gotta keep an eye on this build, on this one. We're gonna keep, make some towers now. I think now we have also economy to rebuild or repair this one. Repair, repair. All right. Just keep moving. AOD shouldn't sleep. Our units are doing nice work. We were at least not forced to use end, so it's it's something. You can also build some towers here. B, 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 B. That's the shortcut. There, are, there is Saruman on the field. But now we should not be wasting too much more money or level 10. Oh, it was close. It was close. Our heroes are forced to stay closer, I guess. They give leadership, you know, to the... But they don't give leadership now because Freezing Rain is active. Freezing Rain is one of the best counters to Rohan and Smoro. Because it nullifies all the leadership for 3 minutes. Right, kill the last building, please. Our level 10 Rohirrim was able to survive, that's really, really nice. And by the time the base is entirely destroyed, we will have also the money we need, as you can see, to actually buy this base. Oh, that was, I mean, the early couple of minutes, guys, was really, really challenging. And if you guys enjoy the content, please don't forget to leave a like on this video. And also subscribe for more content like this. This channel is dedicated to battle for Middle-earth games, and you can also play that yourself online by using the Game Range application. With your friends, if you want to meet other friends who are playing Battle for Middle Earth games, the best place to do that is joining the Discord. And the Barista is so tanky, so we need to use the Elven allies to kill it with the swords, yeah, so we can we can kill it faster. All right, base is safe. We're gonna just wait for this for the wells. I mean, I think we don't need the regeneration, right? I think we can just keep moving. Just keep moving now. Uh, still close the gate. Make a post on gate so they can move in later on. Beautiful. Alright. Ridamark against Isengard, against the White Hand of Saruman. Alright, 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 alright. So we can just do something, I guess. Move forward. Oh, 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 alright, alright. Nice. Oh, 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 Saruman, Saruman. Saruman, kill this Balistas, kill this Balistas. Saruman is gonna die in a second. Alright. Kill these buildings if you can. Kill these baristas if you can. There is so much we have to do. We need to send this Rohirrim back to their level 10. I don't want to lose them, guys. Uh, give leadership now. Still no leadership. I think the rain is still active, so we need to kill back. We are losing too many units. We can now keep making some more normal horses. I think we have enough Rohirrim marches, but we are missing our normal Rohirrim. Because I feel like we are quite squishy right now with the army, you know? It's gonna follow us, but it's not a big deal. Aragon can turn and fight. Aragon is already level 7. Maybe getting Aragon level 10 would be really nice. Our level 10 horses were able to survive, which is good. As well as our Rohirrim archers. Aragon can use Blade Master. Pop. We need to try to kill these Ballistas first. Because Ballistas, they are dealing so much more damage than units, you know? Keep moving. Okay. Kill this ladder. Needs to hit him two times. If Atela, so I'm not worried. We can also use Elendil, you know, just to make them run away from us. Just like this. Now our army was able to kill back up, so we can use this time this pathway. Aragon can join them like this. I'm not too much worried because I've also healed, right? So Aragon should be fine, I'm assuming. Okay. Turn and kill this, please. He's gonna follow you till the end of the world. Oh, and more baristas, more baristas, more baristas. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea, but we need to be careful about this. We need to kill this. We need to kill this. 
Kill this Lucas now. Boom! Nice one. <laughs> Payback time. Alright, kill this. Uh, siege weapons. We need to use heal on Aragon. I don't want to risk the biscuit. I mean, not siege weapons, the, the pikemen. Okay, so just move around this side. Just focus on the buildings. Uh, he has no more ballistas, right? I don't see ballistas anymore and we killed his siege works. I mean, he, ki he killed his siege works. Be careful. And right click also on this... Uh, Atela, so Aragon can use it. Oh, we, we lost Eomir, really? Uh, we lost Eomir. I didn't even notice, guys. My bad. Sorry. Eomir is an important leadership. We need to keep him alive. Go inside. Uh, and use Glorious Charge. Use the Pikeman to kill... Uh, use the Rohirrim matches to kill the Pikeman. There is no reason of using AOD in this space anymore, I guess. Now we can also one-shot the Fortress. Just like this. Rohirrim arches are hitting like a truck. However, they are very squishy units, you know? That's why you need to be careful with them to not lose them all the time. On the other side, the ro normal Rohirrim are just way, way tankier. We have now one more inside the base at the bottom left side. Be careful with the horse horses. We can send them now back to the regeneration. Because I believe that the uh, Rohirrim, Ar Rohirrim arch is now all alone going to be enough to finish off this base. No big deal. Atelas was used automatically. When you right click on an ability like this, he's going to always use it automatically. Okay. I think we have no leadership rights now anyway, right? Because Freezing Rain is active. And leadership here is not going to be very effective because we are obviously playing against Seven Heart Isengard, so uh, theoretically they can actually use Rain all the time, so we will never be able to get any leadership pretty much all game long. But the good thing about the Rohirrim matches is uh, once they hit level 10, they're going to hit like a track even without leadership. So the base has been taken down, and this Isengard player has been defeated as well. This gate got broken actually, alright, we are able now to repair this one, so the, the, the Rohan units can join now this army, now because we have defeated many many units, uh, or multiple opponents, we are also able to make more units, remember we were starting the game with only 80 command points, now we are up to 150 guys, which is quite nice, okay, we have so much money now, I think we can afford to make multiple battle towers, and that's what we should, uh, and definitely close the gate. Oh, look, look this. <laughs> this guy is just sending many, many berserkers, just like in the movie. And Helm's Deep. Okay, Aragorn, fight them. You are Aragorn. That is the reason why you are being the king. Aragorn is level 9 now. Hitting like a truck. One shotting this berserker is no big deal. Can use also this ability to make him hit even hard. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he's moonwalking sometimes. It's kill them, please. All right, finally. Okay, so we have now three normal Rohirrim, which is quite nice. Eomir is also back in the business. All right, we can kill Saruman and gonna get level ten, right? So look, Saruman's health. He's running for his life. Can he get, can he run away though from Aragorn? That's the question. Okay, there we go. And now we can say fight for me. Eoz summon from Aragorn. Araton Sun, you see those air. Look how many ballistas! Holy guacamole! What is happening? Revenge. This guy is going inside the jeans now, guys. That's why we have to kill the ballistas. Aragorn and level uh, Aragorn level ten and Gandalf level ten are game changing, by the way. We have to definitely make some more towers here for some more defense. We can make actually full towers, so the space is not going to get destroyed that easily. Right. We can also make. Uh oh, what happened to the space? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can't make towers though because. Oh, oh, alright, alright, alright. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, we need to defend the space now. When your when your Tita is down like this, you can't build anything anymore. So we can maybe try to use this. Stun the enemy units. Try to build or rebuild the Tita now. Uh, this is also under attack for now, for now. But I think this space is in a great spot because how many. Look how many towers we have around, right? Uh, alright, so just ignore them. Maybe we can kill these units. Our heroes are not following for some reason. We need to follow also with these units. And get inside the space as soon as possible. Let's not lose the space. We have one more Rohirrim Archer here. So he's gonna be in number 3. So we can join the party. Kill this Ballista. Um, and then we can just, you know, kill everything else. I think we can save the space. It's gonna be close, but this farm is still remaining. Okay. Kill Lurtz, there we go, Lurtz is down, Berserker is down, kill this last one before he takes down the farm, alright, beautiful, 
So now we were able to save the space. And now we can try to attack maybe this um, Isengard right in the middle of the map. Okay? It sounds like a plan, shall we? I think we have to wait until the Tita is back. So we can, you know, uh, try to repair everything and rebuild everything. So we don't have to lose the space and give up the base for no reason. Alright, so he has no more pikemen. When he has no pikemen like this, we can all, we don't need to be careful about you know about the situation anymore with our horses. We just have to make sure to kill the ballistas in time. Again, be with the heroes around the Rohirrim marches. It doesn't matter right now because Rain is still active. Uh, but it is how it is. Okay, so let's kill this. Kill this ballista with two normal horses. The Rohirrim marches to kill the units, especially the pikemen. Look how much money we get just because of Aomiya's uh, passive leadership, guys. Okay, let's kill this last one. Beautiful. Now we can actually go back to base and sustain a little bit. We, we are also now able to make some more units though from the stable. Okay, we gotta keep an eye on our heroes. Let's not lose them once again. Kill this Lord if we, if we have to. He's following us. He's gonna die in a second. Okay, so let's make some more farms inside this base and also some more towers, shall we? Okay, beautiful. And now I believe we are in a safe spot. And we have defeated how many? We lost the space though, right? Oh, we didn't did we attack the space? I'm not sure. But we are losing the bases left and right all the time. The problem is, and I believe what we need to do now, is we need to make some normal horses for each base to have some protection against this ants. Because we can't win the game if we just follow, you know, have to defend all the time. That's really annoying. Oh, we lost all the Rohirrim. We lost all the Rohirrim. We lost all the Rohirrim, guys. All our Rohirrim are gone. Okay. I think we lost all the Rohirrim. Yeah, that's been the case now. Alright, the ants, they will be hopefully able to dis destroy this um, things. Let's move like this. Darumon is gonna die in a second. There we go. And actually, let's move to this base because we lost the space, unfortunately. This base is in a safe spot right now. We can also close the gate and hope for the best. Beautiful. This base is also under attack. I don't know how this guy actually went inside the base. I don't, I'm not sure. Also, have to make some towers. Oh, oh all right, all right. Just watch now. This one level 10 uh, one level 10 Rohirrim Archer who's almost dead, so we have to send him back. Not lose, not lose him, as you can see. You can also use... Oh, Eomir, 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 Oh my god, Eomir, run for your life, please, 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 please. Aragorn can use AOD, maybe? And Theoden can use GC, okay? Use GC, please. Okay, there we go. Use AOD to kill this uh, annoying Baristas. Kill this Sita, please. Kill this Baristas, very important. Kill the siege work so he can't make any more. Uh, please, you survive. Right, so we can use this for defense. And we have can also make now some more farms. Okay. Yodin, don't trample down the pikemen. Like a madman, don't do that. Yodin is gonna be gone soon. Uh, kill these buildings, please, if you can. Alright, these units are able to survive, which is quite nice. Let's move. Kill this last Uruk pit so we can actually end up buying the base once again. This guy is gonna defend this base. This guy is gonna defend this base, okay? Okay, so let's buy this now. That is a mine, let's destroy. Bam! <laughs> okay, nice, nice, nice. I like it. I like it. Okay, so let's go like this. Beautiful. Let's buy this base, shall we? Nice, so we can now destroy this one. Move forward. Kill this Balisas. Kill this Balisas. So once we kill the Ballistas, no, no, not a big deal anymore, right? Like, let's go like this. And actually, go for healing, right? Uh, what? Okay, let's go like this. Nice. Okay, let's make some farms here. And mainly, uh, we have to get also lots of towers, right? Oh, 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 oh. Explosive mine once again. I can't believe that. These guys are spamming so many siege weapons and the Ballistas are annoying all, all alone, but also the mines. They are so tricky. If you don't pay attention for a single second, you might actually lose every single unit in a single second. You know, that's the problem. 
can also make Gimli and Legolas to protect this city. Oh, we lost the protectors of this city though, so we have to use the Elven allies. And actually use the Elven allies to defend against these units. Against these Ballistas, I mean. And let's use our Rohirrim archers and our heroes to attack this base with AOD. I'm gonna use AOD immediately. They can face tank everything and also kill the heroes and ballistas especially. This is the most important stuff. Now we can just keep moving. Uh, kill this. Kill the ballistas. And go inside the base and use glorious charge. Okay, kill Saruman first. 250 for killing Saruman because of the auto leadership from Eomia. Kill the buildings. Kill the siege works first though sure that everything is getting killed. We can also use Cloudbreak to stun the enemy units. It's fine. We have the protectors now of this city. We have so much money, we can also now invest the money into re rebuilding this one. Let's take a look into this base. Also units here. Oh, that's so annoying. We can now, we need to make some uh, units also to kill these Parisas. Okay. Alright, alright. Use Atelas to heal up Eomir. There we go. Alright, kill the la last base. There we go. Nice. Nice, so kill the spike man. So one of, one of the hard armies has been defeated as well. Okay, so this base is safe. So that means we can maybe move now with the Rohirrim marches to this base instead. So to have some protection. We can now buy this base. There we go. Make some wells now for the sustain. The Rohirrim is on the field, so we can buy upgrades and try to kill these baristas. Okay? Beautiful. So let's make double well. But guide for the well is L. Okay, so kill the pikemen if you can. Rohirrim marches for defense. Wait for the Zitter to come up. And we have to send the Rohirrim fast before we lose everything. Kill this annoying ballistas, alright? Okay, I mean, he has fuel the fires. So also, you can see the lumber mills are glowing now. And also make some more towers here. With so much money. Actually, not. Like, I was expecting too much to have much more money than we do. But obviously we are also investing so much money all the time to actually, you know, rebuild everything and stuff, you know? Yeah. So heal up a little bit. We are able to save the space so far, which is nice. And we can also make a well here, so they have some spot from the statue and also the sustain from the, from the well, okay? The space is safe, so we can now maybe move to the space with these two heroes, because, um, no, it's rebuilding. This is also rebuilding. Uh, and our... Ah, uh, it's annoying. Alright. Let's keep moving. Defend this first before we lose it. And um, then move on to this top left side, shall we? Well, it was quite challenging, guys. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below what you want me to play next. As Saruman dies to the arrows. And if you want to see more content like this, you can also check me out on my Twitch channel. Twitch channel is the main place in which we are live streaming and hosting tournaments. Trying to create some competition for the games. I would love to meet you guys also in the live streams. Appreciate for the follow already in advance, okay? Nice, 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 nice. Kill the Ballista. Ignore Lords. Lords does no damage at this point. He's only level 1. There is no reason of killing Lords first. He's now level 2. And he's gonna die, okay? Kill the Ram as well. Uh, use the heal maybe, just why not? So it's gonna be available sooner. Glorious Charge is available. Rain has been used once again from the opening player. Use Glorious Charge for Death and Glory. And let's go inside now, guys. Let's go inside. We can. We need to use the ants. Oh, 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 all right, all right. So we need to use the ants first. And also, Army of the Dead can be used from this Aragon, okay? Fight for me. We're gonna use the Army of the Dead to kill the siege weapons as well as Aragorn. And the ants, they can actually focus down the Citadel now if they want to. And the other units, they can they need the spot from these heroes. Nice, kill this. Nice, beautiful, beautiful. The ants are going to The ants are going to war. And Legolas and Gimli, the protector of the Rohan, of the Helm's Deep. Actually we have so much money, but we can do not potentially is actually <laughs> is actually uh, say it. Make ant moods, you know? To actually get some more ants on the field because we can afford it at this point of the game. Aragorn is just hitting like a truck. I use Blade Master. You can cancel Blade, Blade Master. I'm gonna show you guys how to cancel Blade Master. So I'm gonna zoom in. So you attack. Now you can right click again. You see? You can make Aragorn hit much, much faster. See that? It's a trick to actually kill the buildings faster if you want to. Alright, this base should be defeated. 
Now, I mean, I'm sorry that I was not able to play around with Legolas and Gimli as much as I would like to. But you could see yourself, this game was not easy by all means, right? It was really, really challenging, especially the beginning of the game was nearly impossible. I was almost losing the game, guys. So I can tell you uh, that from all the 1 vs 7 videos we have made so far, this one is definitely the hardest one. And before I was starting with the game, I was expecting it to be much, 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 much easier. But I was wrong. I was wrong. And the Ballistas, the Mines, the moment when we lost all the heroes beside Aragorn to the Mine, we were randomly destroying in the enemy base. No. Oh, oh, kill this guy. Gimli. Gimli is gonna die in a second. Legolas, run for your life. Legolas is also dead. They are dying so fast, though. Need to make some more towers now. Use Cloud Break to stun them. Let's go now to protect. And when Saruman is around, they have Fear Resistance. That's the leadership from Saruman, if you don't know. It offers Fear Resistance to the allied units. Um, we need to defend this, because we need to revenge our heroes, right? Legolas and Gimli, they're gonna be back in the business soon. We need to revenge them. That's very important. I didn't even use Cloud Break, okay. I was expecting it to use, but it didn't work for some reason. Okay, let's go for a trample. There we go, for death and glory. Kill the pikes first, so we don't need to trample them. They're gonna one-shot our horses once we trample them. That's why you need to avoid trampling them all the time. Kill them from a safe distance instead. Right, we can kill this ballista first, and then Saruman right after, right? Saruman is dead. There we go. Beautiful. Our heroes are revenged. We can now keep moving. AOD from Aragon is back up already, which is nice. Oh, 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 oh don't fight against a pikeman like this. It's a mistake. It's something we shouldn't be doing. Uh, okay, let's use AOD Aragorn. Fight for me! And send him forward to actually scout for some ballistas. Alright? Nice. Okay, now we can keep moving forward. And use this AOD to kill this ballista. Very important. Because they are the most annoying thing, actually. The siege weapons generally in BFME 1 are so annoying to deal with, you know? It's not only about their damage against the, against the buildings, it's about their damage against the units. And against the heroes as well. Like, they deal so much damage, which is kinda insane. Kill this Ballista as it's coming out. There we go, beautiful. Uh, Aragorn has Atelas, I have heals, I'm not worried. We can also use Elven Wood. And it feels like now we have leadership back. Now we can see our units finally glowing as well. Their DPS is gonna be much, much higher, trust me on that one. Uh, one of the horses is again very low, so we can send him maybe back to the base. We don't, we don't need to lose the level 10, okay? Oh, 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 right, all right. Look at this now, guys, please. Oh, oh, it was not in the range to actually kill the siege works, unfortunately. Okay, Aragorn. I'm gonna show you guys the auto attack reset I was talking about with Aragorn once again, okay? Need to kill this. Uh, we're gonna use Blade Master. In Blade Master, we're gonna go inside uh, the base and focus down the fortress. Look now. Reset, 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 you see? Killing the buildings in a second now with this. Look at this now. Reset, 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 reset. It's only Aragorn's damage. <laughs> I mean, obviously, he's level 10, and he's one of the most expensive heroes in the game. Makes sense. We can also use now AOD just for the end, uh, because that's the last base we have to kill. Also, the protectors of Helm's Deep can join the battlefields Legolas and Gimli, uh, the best friends of Middle Earth, side by side. Um, beautiful. Nice, it was a nice experience. I was expecting it to be much, much easier than that one, but it was very hard, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. You can also, again, check me out on my Twitch channel, Twitch TV slash Beyond Standard, for the tournaments, events for Battle for Middle Earth games. And let me know in the comment section down below what would you like me to play next. Again, thanks for watching. Stay Beyond Standards and take care of yourselves. Peace, guys.